look at the uterus. Now, before I get going, you know, <laughs> as I was developing these flies, I couldn't help but think of a Simpsons episode where Homer's telling Marge, you know, it's uterus, not uter you. Anyhow, I, I had to get that out. It's been bugging me in the back of my head. Anyways, let's take a look really briefly at some of the anatomy in the area. So let's take a look at this graphic. We can see in this graphic we have the ovaries. We have the fallopian tubes, and we talked about the ovaries and the fallopian tubes in the last video. We have the uterus. Now take a look at its direction and where it's at and kind of how thick it is. This is going to be the topic of this video. We have the urinary bladder, which of course holds the urine. You have the urethra, which is the area where the urine goes through to get out of the body. We have the vagina, which is a common opening or common passage area. We have the anus. We have the rectum. We have the cervix. So that's a general anatomy of the area. Yes, you do need to know this anatomy for your exam. So taking a look at the uterus. The uterus is going to hold, protect, and nourish the fetus. It is a thick, muscular chamber, which makes sense if you think about it. It's got to be muscular because if the baby's in there and it's time to birth the baby, it's time to get rid of the baby, expel the baby, kick it out for non-payment of rent, you have to squeeze it. And what better way to squeeze something than with a muscular chamber? It is found above the vagina and it usually tilts forward over the urinary bladder which explains why pregnant women have to go pee quite a bit. <laughs> the other things that it does is it provides a safe place for the fetus to develop. It provides a source of nutrition. And as I said a second ago, it will help expel the fetus at the end of development. There are some parts of the uterus that we have to be aware of. We have something called the fundus, which is the superior curvature. We have the body or the corpus, which is the mid portion. We have something called the cervix. The cervix is the inferior part of the uterus. The top opening into the vagina is known as the internal os. The bottom opening into the vagina is known as the external os. In non-pregnant females, the uterus is a potential space. This is pretty cool. If you look at the graphic, the uterus is there, but it's not an open space in a non-pregnant female. It's a potential space. It's kind of collapsed in. It can expand if there's a baby there, but otherwise it's kind of sealed together. The uterine wall is made of the parametrium, which is the external area. The myometrium, remember myo from previous videos, I think I've said this before, myo means muscle, myo muscle, myoglobin, all these things. Okay, so myometrium is the middle smooth muscular layer. It's the thickest part. Again, makes sense because you got to push out a baby. So the myometrium is the thick muscle portion of the uterus. It provides the muscle contractions during labor. And then you have the endometrium, which is the internal mucosal layer part that is shed during menstruation during the menstrual period. It is the site of attachment of the embryos and it makes the maternal, the mother's portion of the placenta. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the vagina. And I just realized there was absolutely no possible way I could have said that without sounding like a complete perv. But please come back for the next video on the vagina.